This is my story on what my life was before I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I have to tell you, I was the fittest I had ever been. I used to exercise for two hours a day. I was watching what I was eating. I could actually climb 29 floors up and down. One day, all this changed. I actually went for a test. I could feel a lump on my right breast and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It, cancer doesn't only affect you in general. It also affects people around you. My family was completely hit by storm. My pillow of support has been my husband, who's actually stood by me through thick and thin. My son, who is 17, grew up overnight. The moment I would say, I would call out his name, he would be like, yes, I'm doing this. Yes, I'm fixing that. Um, when I used to take the chemo injection, uh, when they used to start it for me, he would hold my hand and he would he would hold it really tight and he, he's not a person he's not a bold person who can take injection so he would look the other way and he would say don't worry don't worry don't worry i'm here for you and it was funny because i would be looking at him and and the injection would be going in and i would only be care uh, i would only care about what he's thinking and you know how he is behaving and it was very touching for me i connected with him in a way which I thought would not have been possible. He has this ribbon right outside his room which says breast cancer awareness. He actually uh, tells his uh, female friends that uh, you know you should get tested and this is what it is. So I can see a lot of pride in him uh, because I went through this journey but he has been with me every step of the way and um, in fact, uh, there was a point of time where uh, I was in my third or the fourth session and uh, we went to get my some medication which was not covered by insurance and it was uh, a decent price that we had to pay for it. So he was so sensitive that uh, he actually spoke to my husband and said, it's okay if you don't want to send me for, uh, to university in case you have financial pressures, just take care of mom and I'll just study in Dubai and I just won't go to university. When my husband came and told me that I was really overwhelmed and I told him, I said, you don't need to worry, we're okay, we, we can afford to send you to universities. On my first chemo, I told myself, I'm not my father, I'm not my grandfather, I'm not my grandmother, I'm not my sister, I'm gonna survive this, I'm stronger than you. And by the eighth chemo, I gave up. My son held my hand at that point of time and he came to me and he's like, do this one for me. And I actually went and did that one for him. So that was it. I've had a history of cancer in my family. I can proudly say that I'm the first survivor and I couldn't have done it without the support of my family and friends. The thing that I would like to advise each and every person, each and every woman out there is, you know, go for regular checkups. Please make sure that, you know, you actually go through all your checkups and you, you know, if there is anything diagnosed, then, then you can actually get it sorted. After this also, there are all, a lot of rehabilitation groups because it's an emotional journey as well. Your mind keeps playing games with you and all of that. So you need to keep reinstating the strength every single day. Uh, meditate, uh, pray, do whatever works for you. You know, exercise as well. Um, and you know, that, that kind of, you know, make sure that you get into a positive mode and you can fight this and you will come out with a big, big smile. So that's it from my side.